So this question says, how many solutions does the equation 10 times 15x minus 9 equal negative 15 times 6 minus 10x have? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I can find out. This is a simplify question because it's short and contains an equation. So let's see what happens. 10 times 15x, well, that's 150x. 10 times negative 9, well, that's minus 90. Negative 15 times 6, well, that's negative 90. And negative 15 times negative 10x, well, that's positive 150x. Hmm, so what's going to happen, right? I'm going to subtract 150x from both sides, and it looks like my x's are completely gone, which automatically means there are no solutions um, or infinitely many solutions, no real solutions or infinitely many solutions. And then I have negative 90 equals negative 90, which is a true statement. So the fact that there's a true statement left over after getting rid of the variables means that there are infinitely many solutions. Um, another way to think about it is what I had here is 150x minus 90 equals, I'll just rearrange the right-hand side to say also 150x minus 90. And I can just ask myself, when is this true? It's always true, right? Every single x value that I plug in will get plugged in there and there. And it will make both sides of this equation equal. So there are infinitely many solutions. There are infinitely many things x can be to make this statement true because the statement itself is already true, right? Both sides of the equal sign are saying the exact same thing. So whether you understood the simplification way, right, where we're crossing out the x terms and saying, well, what's left over is a true statement. And because of that is why we say infinitely many solutions, or if it's just logical um, understanding of the fact that these two things on left and right are literally saying the same thing. That's how we get there.